Okay, so this is my overly complex way of setting up my water pump so that it can run at one of two speeds in AquaSuite. Either it'll run at my normal daily setting of 33%, which gives me about 2,300 RPM, or it'll run at full speed. First, what you need to do is create a virtual sensor where your output is a, a temperature value and I've labelled it water pump control and I want it to be either 0 which is a fixed value or 10. This is switched between the two values based on the output of this logic flow to the left. Now I've used CPU load and GPU load but you could also use temperatures to do this. So the way this works is if I read it from left to right if either the CPU or GPU load exceed a target, in my case I've set it at 80%, over a 15 second average, then it sets this trigger here. I've then put a delay in, which is a, uh, a three minute delay, so it won't actually send a trigger through to the next step unless this has been at the higher load from three minutes or more similarly for the GPU if either of these values go to one then it's sent through to this next step which trig is another OR step which triggers through this delay off only have works for when it goes back to zero from one so as soon as this goes to one this switch is set to one on S which changes it to output B, which changes it to 10C. Alternatively, if both the CPU and the GPU are under full load for more than on a 15 second average, this AND step automatically detects that, overrides the delay steps, sets this trigger to 1, sets this to 1, sets this to 1, which sets this to 1, which sets this to 10. And then if I go and look at my actual pump control, so on the pump control I've got a curve that is set to go from 0 to 10, and the minimum power is 33%, because that's what I previously determined using a power preset, puts it at the speed I'm happy with for a daily use. And with a maximum temp, uh, maximum power of 100. So this curve controller can only ever output two temperatures, 0 or 10. So that gives me my two speeds.